Okay, now you could take off your armor and listen to what it says, but that is very risky and you'll know how you feel. Do you want to? I, I told okay. you, like, could you stop going through my house and you, you like, you just keep entering and leaving my okay. house repeatedly. Well, listen. It's very rude. You took me to this sign yesterday and you were claiming this, these, these were you. Let me, let me just read these signs again. Listen, build this cow's assertive foot. cobblestone tower of power. Oh, we got that. We got that one checked off. We can just remove that sign. Upgrade weapons. You have full netherite. Oh, I actually just added Mendon to my pickaxe today. So I guess we can just chalk that one up. Get well. Technoblade's weapons! How could how could you write get Technoblade's weapons? Dude, I speak in the third person all the time. Haven't you heard my no, key phrase? Even... Technoblade never dies. I say it all the time, Dream. Get <laughs> overall, get more leverage. Leverage is good. Okay, okay. Build girlfriend. That's still a work in progress. That's, that's the weirdest one. It's, yeah, it's yeah, a work not... in progress. Okay, listen. Cringe therapy, but spelt wrong. It's a hard word to spell. No, it's you are an English major. I dropped out of college because Minecraft okay, it, was the it, only it, thing I had the intellectual therapy. capacity for. Unfortunately, each minion slot requires exponentially more resources than the last, so I did what any self-respecting Skyblock player would do and sat in the shop menu buy an ice for 30 minutes. I'm having fun. I dropped out of college for this. The farm, show me the farm. Yeah, we, I've been I'm, working hard on the farm. I'm yeah. actually a little hungry, so this is this is good. Yeah, oh, okay. Now. Yeah, this is good. This is good. This is this is a, a bigger than I was expecting, but you know, I've seen what yeah, you can do, Technoblade. Okay. How long have you been on this? How long have you spent here? Uh, I haven't logged off. Wait, you. You haven't logged off the server from yeah, last I've, night. Yeah, I've, I've just, I've just been here. Well, that's like, that's like, fourteen hours, techno boy. Revolution waits for no man. Uh, uh, it just seems so rude. Do I barge into your house stream and just start looking through your stuff and commenting on your, on your suspicious to do lists on your wall? Actually, do you even have a house? I've never seen you in a house. I do have a house, but it's very, very far from here. Do you like? Are you homeless? Is this like you just don't no, want to admit that you don't have a I'm house? I'm not homeless. I do have a house. Do you sleep outside, Dream? I have a. I don't even sleep, but I do have a prove, house. Prove prove you have a house. Bring me to it. No, I, I'm not gonna take you to my house. Dude, this guy doesn't have a house. He's, he owns the I Minecraft. Have a house. He owns the Minecraft I server, have a house. and he never built a house because all he does is a, show up ominously on people's house. streams. It's far away. Oh yeah, but you wouldn't know my house. It goes to another school. It no, goes I to another have a school. House. What is Technically, I, I, I'm leaving. What the hell is wrong? I'm going to follow you to your house then. It wasn't perfect, but it was the best method I could think of to estimate how strong his potato farm was. I mean, it's not like I could just go to his island and and look at it. Wait, that worked? But what I found shocked me to my very core. No, no, this can't be. This man made eight potato 11 minions. And then he painted the Mona Lisa. Well, I know that Tommy's been here. Thank you, Ducko Taco, for the hundred. Uh, <laughs> Cold Boy, thank you for the fifty. Uh, go on, go on, Dream. I'm listening. I'm listening. 
Um. Well, let, listen. Uh, Tyco, welcome, new channel member. Oh, sorry, <laughs> sorry, Dream. Go on, go on. No, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I, I don't Duck care. Duck Otaco, welcome, new channel member. King Pig Tear Pog. Oh, sorry, sorry. Go on, go on. I don't. Anonymous care. fan, welcome, new channel oh member. Oh my god! <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> So what does measure. what does empire like mean? Like what what two words are being combined there? Empire and egg. Mm. So egg. egg and what empire. is what is uh, an empire? And, and what is an empire? <laughs> an say. empire. Like, classify that. Okay. As, like what Te kind of organization? Technically, some people would classify that as a government. Mm. Some I'm looking it up on my people, phone. I'm looking. People. I'm looking it up on my phone. What what is a define empire? Define Puppy. empire. Yes, Ben. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. Uh, no, uh, I'm gonna have to ask you to go. Your, uh, extensive yourself. group of states okay, or countries that, under a single supreme how authority. About that, ben? Oh my goodness, Puffy, you're messing this up for me. Okay. Mm. Trying, trying that to seems like a personal here. problem. The egg doesn't want you here either. You know what? Well, uh, the feeling's mutual because I don't really want to be near the egg if I'm honest, but I'm here for technical. I'm seeing a lot of uh, government -y words on this Wikipedia page. <laughs> Your cell phone rings, you don't recognize the number, what do you do? Ignore it. Ignore it, send a voicemail, yeah. Not this guy. <laughs> I answer it, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Opportunity, potential, who knows? Who knows what it is? <laughs> the other day I was driving down the 405, traffic. <laughs> phone rings, 917, New York. I'm like, oh, yeah. I don't know the number. I hit talk, I go, hello. Guy on the other line goes, hey Bruce, what's going on? <laughs> My name's Jay, not Bruce. <laughs> so clearly I go, nothing much man, what's going on with you? <laughs> and he goes, I'll tell you what's going on, I just got an email about the budget, it's supposed to be 15,000, now it's 10,000, I'd like to know what the hell's going on. And I grab the steering wheel, I was like, all right, let's focus right now. <laughs> Your name is Bruce, there's a budget. It's 15,000, now it's 10, no one's happy about it. Just get, go with this, go with this. I didn't know much, I only knew what he told me, so I just said it back and I go, 10,000, it's supposed to be 15,000. He goes, yeah, well I just got an email and now it's 10. And I go, hey, I don't know what to tell you, man, I'm on the road right now, I haven't even seen the email. And he goes, are you behind this? Did you send it out? I'm giving Bruce some attitude, you know what I mean? And I'm like, no way I am taking that, there's no way, and I go, Listen, bro, the budget was 15000 We had a couple extra expenditures. It went up to sixteen two. I reworked it, got it down to fourteen seven. We had 300 to play with. I called it fifteen. I sent it out. He goes, yeah, well, now it's 10. And I was like, oh, my God, that worked. <laughs> stay focused. Stay focused. I'm not even enjoying it. You know what I mean? You, I can't even laugh. I have to stay. I'm, like, literally in it. I was just in it. He goes, did Larry okay this? Larry. Now he's throwing Larry at me, yeah. So I go, listen, I took it to Larry. He said it looked fine, but I knew it was my the line, so I ran it by Jennifer, just in case. She said it looked good, I sent it out. He goes, yeah, well now it's 10. And I was like, this guy has no idea what's going on over there. He hasn't talked to Larry. He hasn't talked to Jennifer, I just made her up. Clearly, he has not spoken to Bruce. He goes, listen, man, what are we going to do about this? I go, bro, I'm on the road right now. I haven't even seen the email. Why don't you call Larry, check in with him, see what's going on, give me a call back. Literally, like, throwing the fishing line out, being like, please say yes, because that phone call return is going to be amazing. And he goes, he goes, 
listen, why don't we wait till you get home, you check the email, you call Larry, you call me back. I go, nah, nah, bro. Larry knows way more about this than I do. Give him a call, call me back. He goes, okay, hangs up the phone. <laughs> to which I explode with euphoria. Because there's a small business in New York somewhere that's crumbling to the ground. Over $5,000, no one can find Bruce, no one's talked to Larry, and they don't know who the hell Jennifer is. Excitement. Not even done. I get home, I'm so excited, I call some friends, tell them what happened. I think to myself, you know what, I'm gonna save that guy's number. Give him a call in a couple days, check in, touch base, see where we're at. I save the number on my phone under random guy. He's a random guy. I don't think about it. A couple days pass, no big deal. Laying on the couch, watching the game. Phone rings, dining room table. Watching the game, get up, pick up the phone, look down, random guy. And I think to myself, random guy? I don't know any random guy. Who the hell's random guy? And then I was like, oh, random guy! <laughs> Now I'm freaked out, you know what I mean? I'm in my house, they know where I'm at. People, people's lives have been affected. But this is who I am, you know what I mean? I started this thing, I'm gonna see it through to the end. That's how I saw this. Put in my earbuds, just get a little distance, just get some distance, you know what I mean? I hit talk, I go, hello, same guy. Goes, hey Larry, what's going on? Now he's calling me Larry. He knows what's up. But I'm not gonna cave, you know what I mean? And I go, nothing much, man, what's going on with you? And he goes, listen, I got us on conference call with Janelle and Marie. <laughs> like I'm backing down from Janelle and Marie. So I go, uh, hey ladies. Welcome to the call. As if to say, welcome to the show, here we go. How long are we gonna lie for? How long do you want me to lie? Because I am gonna go all the way. Marie, she takes the lead. She goes, hey Larry, what time is it where you are? And I look at the clock and it's 5.30. And they're a New York company, so I go, 8.30. It's 8, they're like sprinkling more lies and like, I can fool them, I can fool them. She goes, really, what's the weather like? And I go, weather's nice, weather is nice. She goes, really, this doesn't sound like Larry. And I go, oh yeah, who's it sound like? And the guy who called both times, he chirps in. He's like, sounds like Bruce! Sounds like Bruce! Like he's gonna blow this case wide open, you know? <laughs> and I go, I go, guys, this isn't Larry and this, and this isn't Bruce. And she goes, who is this? <laughs> and I was like, I'm just some dude who had nothing better to do than to mess with you guys. Marie did not like that. She got pissed. She started yelling at me. She's like, we're a small business trying. I'm like, oh, I know. She's like, you think this is a joke? And I was like, eh, a little bit. She goes, let me ask you something. I go, no, you let me ask you something. And she goes, what? And I go, where are we at with the budget? <laughs> Yeah. If if we just keep if we just keep uh, fighting the people who who wronged us first, we're just it's just going to be a never ending. It's just going to be an endless loop. An endless so cycle wise. of revenge until there's nothing left. And with that being well, said, I am all right to get revenge now, right? Because I'm really yeah. In the that mood that for being it. said, let's go kill Eric. Yeah! yeah, yeah, let's get him. I kidnapped my child. Yeah, you kidnapped a baby. That's messed up. Who does that? Haven't they both murdered you before, Tubbo? Yeah, but bygones be bygones, you know, aligned views. That was so and long all. ago. You're still on we, about we, that, I, Sam? I, we, you know, we did a big apology, okay? I apologized. And to be fair, you murdered me like one and a half years ago. You yeah, that was a long time ago. Nine months ago. I didn't lie to you, Eric. I, I told you the truth. I'm building a safe place for Michael to be. That's I don't what believe it. Is over there. Do you That's not, see not what for I'm you to here? decide. Do you just kidnap random people's babies? Like this is safer for you.
When violence does call me, I've answered before. I've made many enemies, I've settled my scores. But I did grow weary, and I settled down, and proudly bore the weight of my crown. I lived on my lonesome away in the far, where there was no violence to trouble my heart. I'd hung up my sword, and I'd raised up my hoe, and I lied as I said that I never would go. But came a cry from a man that I'd known someone to whom never compassion I'd shown, and so I opened up my door to the man who promised me blood and war. Oh, woe to thee, ye people of order, I hope your homes continue to smolder, and that you never rise again, and leave me be, and leave my friends. I followed him far to a distant land, where he had been exiled by one single man. His horns, they were wicked, his power was great, and you looked in his eyes and were swallowed by hate. He took me to shelter his humble abode, a pitiful cavern his comrades called home. He handed me bedding and bid me adieu, and I sat and I pondered on what I should do. For I crave violence, I crave to be free from the people who wish to control me. Yes, I believe in anarchy's reign, and I know that dictators only bring pain. Oh, woe to thee, ye people of order, I hope your homes continue to smolder, and that you never rise again, and leave me be. I prepared for a battle, I hoarded and schemed, but I did not know all was not what it seemed. My allies unstable, their loyalty thin. Yes, we would have victory, but what would we win? The battle was chaos, blood roared in my ears. A chain of explosions, they looked up with fear. They set up a leader and shouted hoorays. And I shuddered and realized that I'd been betrayed. Is this what you want? Corruption and power? Well, I won't stand for it. This is my hour, now I release my beasts upon thee. And I laughed in pain as I watched them all flee. Oh, woe to thee, ye people of order. I hope your homes continue to smolder and that you never rise again. And woe to those that called me a friend. I fled until silence was all I could hear. The voices went screaming, now hummed in my ears. The cold, it was lonely, but I was alone. And I promised that I'd not let blood taint my home. But then came a message from my only friend. Or warrior, hide, or else this is the end. They bound up my wings and they hunt for your head. They promised me justice, but they'll see you dead. They came to me with an armed battalion and held an axe to my innocent stallion and said, Now it is your turn to bow. See how the king has fallen now. They raised an anvil and laid me below. They thought to crush me painful and slow, but I did live and I did flee. And I put my pick through the butcher's teeth. Oh, woe to thee, ye people of order. I hope your homes continue to smolder and that you never rise again. And woe to those that called me a friend.
My name is Technoblade. I've spent the last year fighting to maintain my spot as the number one potato farmer in Skyblock, opposing me as Squid Kid, the former rank number one. In my last video, I talked about how the newly added rabbit pet could, at its highest level, increase the amount of potatoes my minions made by 30%, but I knew Squid would watch my video to find out my tactics, so I left out a few of the finer details. If there's multiple rabbit pets on the same island, which one boosts the minions? You'd think it'd be the strongest one, but it's not. If there's multiple rabbits, the minions will be boosted by the one belonging to whoever's been on the island the longest. Unrelated fun fact, did you know that Squid Kid's Island is still open to visitors? Every night around 2 a.m., Squid would leave his account and go to bed, and that's when I'd strike, overriding his rabbit pet boost for the rest of the night. Squid and I had both been rushing to get our rabbits to level 100, but unfortunately an unknown third party got there first and sold his level 100 legendary rabbit directly to Squid. Of course, he didn't forget to brag about this victory on stream. Oh my, oh my. You know who doesn't have a level 100 pet? Yeah. Yikes, it's only level 99, I'm screaming! Little did he know that while he was flexing on stream, my alt was right there on his island, overriding his level 100 bonus. But unfortunately, my alt was kicked and Squid's Island was closed forever. But by that point, I'd already achieved my objective. The two weeks it took him to realize what was going on cost him about 2 million potatoes. Bit of a tangent, but I'm pretty sure I lost a few fans over the rabbit pet because everyone would just be hanging out. They're sabotaging my potatoes, so I'd kick him out of my island to get priority back. And then they'd come back 10 seconds later like, Why did you kick me, Technoblade? I can't tell you because it's a secret. And they'd go like, It's okay, Technoblade. It's because you hate me specifically. Wait, come back. No. Now it was easy to get people to AFK on my island. What was difficult was getting people off of Squid's Island. Squid Kid was getting boosted by my own viewers and there was nothing I could do to stop them. The only way to stop this from happening would be to get Squid to close his own island to visitors without him realizing that that's what I wanted all along. It took four long months, but it finally happened happened. So Squid says he closed his island because someone filled his potion system with rookie axes. A common trolling method in Skyblock is to fill people's inventories with useless items. So after six months of stalking Squid Kid, I developed a bit of a psychological profile of this man. I know how he thinks. And when I saw this tweet, I instantly knew that this man was lying. I completely believe that somebody dropped rookie axes into his hopper system because it was me. But that's not the real reason he closed his island. He's about to sabotage me! So I held a stake out on my island and guess what I found a few hours hours later. A brand new Skyblock account AFK in with a level 1 legendary rabbit. Truthfully, I could have stopped Squid before he even joined my island, but I wanted to catch him in the act. He is yet to realize that he is but a puppet, and I, the puppeteer, dance! Potato Boy, dance! So anyways, I got on my secret alt account and then sent his secret alt account a party invitation. Well, this is awkward. He actually did accept my invite. We had a lovely conversation, and then I banned him from my island. After that, I moved on to the next phase of my master plan. If I I wanted to farm more potatoes, I'd have to start farming pumpkins. But wait a minute, Technoblade, that's the wrong vegetable. Wait, what do you mean it's a fruit? I did the math and found that farming potatoes is so incredibly inefficient at leveling up farming that it was actually more worthwhile to build a whole pumpkin farm. In this time, I expanded my lead by another 5 million potatoes, but at this point, Squid and I had been farming potatoes for almost a year with no end in sight, so we came to an agreement. Whoever got to 500 million potatoes first would win the potato war. I was going to win this war. Squid had been certain that he was right on my tail. I don't know how far behind I am. Because at this point, Squid had a full organization back in him. A cabal of billionaires funding his every move. So in that video, I prepared my final trick. I hid my true potato count. The number shown in my video wasn't edited, but it didn't include the millions of potatoes left uncollected in my minions. Watch me dance, Squid Kid, you lose! After the war, the admins added a temporary NPC, the Potato King. It gave out the potato crown. While he may have lost the war, he's gone from 70 subscribers to having tens of thousands of fans, so it can't be said that he's lost completely. I've realized now that rank number one isn't an achievement. It's a prison which forces you to dedicate your life to defending a temporary title. But now, with the war finally over, I'm free.